Hey everyone, this is Randy Pearson, Vice President of Life and Annuities for Gordon Marketing, and welcome to another edition of Selling Life and Annuities. Today I've got with me Paul Bechtold, he's the manager of our Your Family Bank program, as well as a, a producer, an advisor who's out selling life insurance. And you know, um, we're recording this video towards the end of September 2021, and of course, you may be aware that September is Life Insurance Awareness Month. And Paul came to me with an interesting story relating to life insurance that I thought we would share. So Paul, why don't you uh, tell the audience a little bit of what happened recently? Well, Randy, I got, you know, you brought me into the life insurance business, what, 10 years ago, right? So uh, along the way, you think you've kind of seen everything. And I got a letter in the mail on Saturday from one of our carriers, as I frequent to do, they take a loan out or whatever for the Your Family Bank program. But it was actually a letter about a lead that had come in uh, last uh, fall that we had written policy on for the Your Family Bank program, and it was to notify me that he of his passing. Okay. Wow. So you had a client that purchased a policy through the program, and, and he died unexpectedly. Correct. Wow. So uh, it was outlining to, it was addressed to his spouse. I immediately picked the phone up and I called his cell phone because I didn't have hers, left a message thinking she may retrieve mm -hmm. that. And uh, it, it in indicated to her in the letter uh, exactly what was going to have to happen in terms of uh, the, the death certificate and the claim form and all that. And so I reached out to first con uh, extend my condolences and secondly, to talk to her about assisting with, uh, you know, processing that claim. Uh, and all, but I got to tell you, it, it kind of hit home with me. Number one, from the standpoint of what we do with the Your Family Bank program, we're really not selling life insurance. We're using it as a mechanism to help people get out of debt. But as I like to tell all my clients when I close the sale, is that you have a plan that works no matter what happens in life. Okay, so uh, to the point you made earlier, I found that it was ironic that coming on the end of life insurance awareness one of those realities of the policy that we put in place for the YFB is that it's a when policy, not an if policy like Tronius. Right. And so speaking of that when, the policy itself had only been enforced for a relatively short period of time, right? Yeah, less than a year. Wow, so here's, here's a product that the consumer purchased to address a financial need, a want, that being getting out of debt, but in the end, in less in a, in a year, less than a year and a half, um, the death benefit is being paid to his spouse to make right. sure that she can guarantee her financial security. Right? That that is correct. So, and what was ironic is, you know, the gentleman when I met with them was during the COVID outbreak. He actually passed from COVID. Okay, so the reality of that for you know, especially the elder clients out there, we're going into. You know, the Medicare season where mm -hmm. still many people uninsured, and that's a very uh, strong, uh, you know, it's a reality that most seniors have to be aware of. Um, but he, he passed from COVID. He was only 60 years old. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, you know, it was a shocker. I'd met with him three or four times. And actually, ironically, we had gotten his finances well in order. Okay. The program was working beautifully for him. He had paid off a lot of debts. And with the death benefit, the program will actually be successful, right? Because his spouse will be debt free. It will self complete, as we yes, like to say. Absolutely. You know, yeah, we'll be able to plow out the rest of that debt in terms of the mortgage and all that and put her in a much better situation. So, uh, what I did, Randy, is I went over to her house actually personally on Monday, knocked on the door, talked to her, and you know what, Randy? She was completely unaware. Wow. Of exactly what the details were of the policy. She remembered a paramed coming in last year and taking blood and urine sample on him, but she was unaware of how much the mm -hmm. death benefit was. And by the way, we actually tripled her death benefit from what he had before. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but she was completely unaware. And, and at you know, time of distress like that, it, you, you can't find one hand in front of the other. And to, to offer the help to process the death benefit claim to help her with that, settle her down from financial worries on top of personal mm -hmm. loss, you know. I felt really good about it, to be yeah, honest Yeah, and, and you should. I've been in the business almost 35 years, and I know when I came into the business, it was often said that you're never really in the life insurance business until you have to deliver a death claim, right? You know, at the time of grief for the family, a lot of folks are showing up with flowers and extending condolences, 
but you're bringing financial security in addition to all that, and it's super powerful. You know, the other thing that I think is, is really powerful in this particular story is that we spend a lot of time, you know, Paul and I and our team at Gordon Marketing, we spend a lot of time talking about the advantages of life insurance, the, 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 the benefits of owning life insurance, accumulation, distribution, tax advantages, elimination of debt, living benefits, the list goes on and on. But we often neglect to really talk about and or think about the impact that this product has on families and loved ones at the biggest time of need. And, and I think that's really the most powerful thing about this story, particularly at this time during Life Insurance Awareness Month. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As I go through, you know, kind of a checklist of all the things that the policy does for YFB, the one I always start with is if you die too soon, right? Well, the first thing mentally people check into is, well, that won't happen to me anytime soon, right? Mm -hmm. You know, next thing I talk about is if we live too long, it's a permanent policy. Uh, if we get sick, it has a chronic illness benefit, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera, right? But the one thing I think we all discount is that uh, that I could die suddenly, right? Yeah. And, and as a child of well, a parent who did die suddenly, it, it definitely hit, hit home with me. It's, yeah. it's something I always talk about um, with, with all of my clients is that you have to prepare for the unexpected. And this yeah. guy's 60 years old, and I can tell you, having met him several times, he's, he was healthy. There was yeah. nothing that appeared wrong with him. He wasn't overweight. He didn't appear to have anything going on. And he passed yeah. his pyramid fine. Yeah, that's he was underwritten and he was issued a policy. Yeah, I mean, that's um, it's, a, it's interesting. I, I will say, you know, our time is coming to an end on this video, but <clears throat> this is impactful, right? And this is very impactful stuff. And, and I would say that if you're an advisor out there and you're not selling life insurance or at least not selling it to the degree you should, if you've got clients, family members, business associates that you know don't own life insurance or are woefully underinsured, you need to bring it up because you never know whose life you may be impacting. But with that, Paul, listen, we need to bring this episode of Selling Life and Annuities to an end. I want to thank Paul for sharing his story uh, with us today. Do me a favor if you're watching this, this uh, video and you got value out of it, uh, please do me a, a favor and click subscribe and the notification bell at the bottom so that every time we come out with new content, you'll be sure to know about it. But with that, please go out there and sell a life insurance policy today.